हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट स्प्लाई जॉइंट द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्प्लाई जॉइंट डेट यू हैव सीन वैन यू आर गोइंग थ्रू एनी ब्रिजेज दैन दीज आई गर्डर्स आर बेसिकली द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द स्प्लाई जॉइंट द स्टील आई गर्डर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू बेसिकली दीज आर बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल स्टील आई गर्डर्स ओके हेयर यू कैन सी देर आर सम प्लेट्स बेसिकली दे आर टू आई सेक्शन ओवर दे आर and this plate and this plate having some bolt inserted into it and there is also some plate that is bolt inserted into it so these are basically the best example of splice joint so what purpose this splice joint and why we require splice joint the splice joint is used when the material being joined is not available in the length required in market so basically suppose i want to uh, make a beam or column of length 50 meter okay i want to make it of length 50 meter there is some application which uh, having the span of length 50 meter okay but 50 meter length uh, column is not directly available in the market not manufactured it's uh, the column of such length or the beam of such length is not available in the market so what i do i just have 10 5 meter uh, length columns and just and uh, join these five uh, 10 meter length column using the splice joint so in the in such a manner the splice joint solve the purpose okay so this is basically used when the material being joined is not available in the length required in the market okay hope you understand this the why the splice joints come into the picture now these splice joint can be for the column okay uh, when we are joining two columns okay and uh, it can be for the beam beam or the beam okay this is column basically and this is beam this is the basic i don't uh, go into deep what is column and what is basically beam so it can be used joining both the columns as well as the beams okay apart from that these splice joints can have the plates external flange cover plates or maybe the internal flange cover plate so these are basics okay and uh, now we will enter into the design analysis how we approach how our approach in designing such uh, splice joints okay i will cover the basics how you have to ap uh, approach the designing principles of it before going into the deep first if you know about the i section basically the splice joint is generally used to i sections or box sections even box section is made up of the i so basically this is i section okay in this i section if you have the fundamentals of the b tack then the shear the major shear portion this is called as the web the connection between the i section this is called as the flange okay this major uh, shear stresses are taken care by the web okay the web take care of the major shear stresses web okay and uh, these movements 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 because of the movement there is some tension and there is compression movement is like this okay so one and there is tension the other end there is compression what is there is and tension there is compression the tension and the compression is basically taken care by the flange so this is basic funda that you must understand based upon this knowledge we will put your our approach in designing this flange joints okay okay now let us consider this uh, flange joint in front of us okay and uh, we are uh, basically taken the example of the uh, column basically splice joint in front of us we are taking the example of the column now this is basically two two columns are there this is column 1 and this is column 2 these two columns are basically uh, joined with the helps of the splice plates and these are basically the plates they are four bolts inserted into it and this is the plate here there are 1 2 3 4 uh, bolts inside and four uh, bolts this in this way the bolt is being inserted now this structure is in connection with some other structure okay consider this structure is in connection with some other structure okay then if it is a basically column it is basically column so there is some external force coming from the other structure and basically these are compressive forces if we talk about uh, this uh, column there will be compressive forces now these are compressive forces now these compressive forces will directly enter into this column part and these compressive forces will be transferring into these bolts okay these bolts and these bolts are basically at the these are basically these bolts are at the web uh, web side web side okay this is the web side okay upper is the flange side and this is the web side now these compressive forces in the form of the shear forces goes directly on the bolt okay so these ka compressive forces on the other members from the other members of the steel structure converted into the shear forces on the bolt so we have to design these bolts 
बेस्ड अपॉन द सी आर कंसिडरेशन तो दिस इज द बेसिक फंडामेंटल ओके तो नाउ दिस बोर्ड हैज टू बी डिजाइन फॉर द सी आर कंसिडरेशन दिस इज बेसिक नंबर वन तो बेसिक रूल फॉर द कंप्रेशन इज वी हैव टू वी हैव टू डिजाइन बोर्ड फॉर कंप्रेशन कंप्रेशन एंड दैट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द शीयर फोर्सेज तो यू हैव टू यूज द सीयर फोर्सेज फॉर्मूला ओवर दे आर ओके नाउ द एनोदर थिंग इज दैट बेसिकली इट इज हैविंग सम मोमेंट ऑल्सो दिस दिस कॉलम इज कनेक्टेड टू सम अदर कॉलम and there is some bending movement of this this uh, column is connected to some other structure and there will be bending movement let us suppose this is having bending movement like uh, this bending movement okay now this bending movement is like it will try to bend it like this so this the, if every bending movement has some compression part and some tension part okay it is clear so this part will be under uh, uh, tension and this part will be under compression okay now it is clear to you so bending movement from the structure also converted into this uh, this tension part and this is in compression part now these tension part will try to shear these bolt these bolt of the flanges bolt and this compression part will try to shear these uh, flanges bolt so again the bending movement bending movement is converted into tension and compression and these tension and compression try to shear of the bolts shear of bolts of the flange portion so we have to again design these bolts for the shear so in this manner our whole design consideration is done so what basically the bending movement uh, because of bending movement there are tension and compression because of these tension and compression there are shear forces in the bolts and uh, as these member is in uh, having lateral forces or axial forces from other and uh, because of these axial forces there is also shear forces so whatever we have to do we have to just design these uh, web plates or these bolts uh, uh, these bolts under shear consideration hope this is clear for you now similarly this is the uh, this is the practical example so we have to design these bolt whatever the bolts for the shear consideration okay all the forces all the bending movements all the tension compression forces converted into the shear forces this is the example of the column if we talk about uh, this uh, uh, beam if we talk about this beam in the beam also in if the beam also so this this it will be having some forces like this and there is also having some bending movement okay the same principle is that if there is a tension forces there are tension forces will try to tear these bolts these bolts will try to tear these bolts and they are bending movement these bending movement will have some compression and some tension forces over there so again we have to design every bolt for the shear forces so what we understand whether it is bending movement whether it is compression whether it is tension whether there is axial force whether there is bending movement all will convert into basically the shear forces so we have to design uh, these splice joint based for the shear force consideration in this manner we can design if uh, i have time in the future i will definitely uh, put a complete lecture regarding the design of this splice joint hope you like this content keep supporting and subscribe thank you